Hello friends. Welcome back to the lecture series on high voltage engineering. We are discussing chapter electrostatic fields, their control and estimation. And today's topic on discussion is analysis of electric field in a single and multi dielectric system. <music> This multi dielectric system can also be called as the mixed dielectric system. Means when one or more dielectrics are mixed, used in any electrical application, then called as a multi dielectric system. The insulating mediums are already classified in previous lecture of the same chapter where we have given the introduction to the high voltage engineering. The insulating mediums as oil, gas, vacuum, and air. That is, and or we can say solid. So gas and air can be considered as one. Then solid, liquid. That is, liquid is nothing but the oil, vacuum, and we have this gas and air. So these four kinds of insulating mediums can be used in electrical appliances, apparatus for the insulation purpose. So if it is used alone, means if one of the, like if, if the liquid is used in oil circuit breaker, that is called a single dielectric system. But if with oil, a paper is also used like a solid insulating material, then that becomes a mixed dielectric or multi dielectric system. Now let us understand the, let us do the analysis of that electric field. Electric field is basically the breakdown voltage per distance. So let us start the understanding one by one of this analysis of electric field first on single dielectric system. When several conductors are situated in an electric field, when several conductors are situated in an electric field with the conductors charged, now the conductors are charged, a definite relationship exists among the potentials, means the voltage of the conductors, the charges on them and physical location of the conductors with respect to each other. In a conductor, electrons can move freely under the influence of an electric field. And basically electric field is a responsible, one of the responsible quantity to uh, have the electron movement. This means that the charges are distributed inside the substance and over the surface such that E equal to zero everywhere inside the conductor. Since we know that E equal to minus del into phi, that is equal to zero. It is necessary that phi is constant inside and on the surface of the conductor. Thus, the conductor is an equipotential surface. Equipotential means the potential is equal, is same. So the equipotential surface. A dielectric material contains an array of charges which remain in equilibrium, means particular condition, when an electric field is not zero within the substance. Therefore, a non-conductor or dielectric material, a non-conductor means a dielectric material is one that does contain free electrons or charges in appreciable number. Now, let us understand this. A simple capacitor consists of two conductors, means parallel plates, which are separated by a dielectric. If two conductors contain a charge plus Q, minus Q, and potential difference between them is say 512, the capacitance of such capacitor is defined as the ratio of charge Q to the potential difference phi 1, 2. So C is equal to what? Q divided by phi 1, 2. So this is what the equation which we are getting in the system. Now, the charge is not distributed uniformly. The charge is not distributed uniformly over the two conductor surfaces. And if the charge density is rho 
and the electric field in the dielectric is E, then we have C equal to double integration with a S rho ds upon integration 1 to 2 E dl. When several conductors are present with charges, like if there are a number of conductors present, then on each conductor you will find Q1, Q2, up to say Qn on them. And their respective potentials are phi1, phi2, up to phi n. The relationship between the charges and the potentials are given in matrix form. So Q1 is equal to C11, C12, up to C1n. And C21, C22, up to C2n. And so on up to Cn1. Cn1, Cn2, up to Cnn. It is multiplied by phi1, phi2, up to phi n. Where C11, C22, up to Cii, Cnn are called capacitance coefficients. C12, C21, Cij, Cji are called induction coefficients. Here Cij is the quantity of charge on the ith conductor, which will charge the jth conductor to unity potential when all other conductors are kept at zero potential. These coefficients are geometric factors and can be estimated from the configurations of the conductors. The reciprocity property holds good for coefficients of induction and what is that? Cij is equal to Cji. The self capacitance of conductor I is Cii equal to summation J equal to 1 to N Cij. The mutual capacitance between the two conductors Ij is Cij equal to Cji. So this is that equilibrium condition. So this concept is very useful in the calculation of either potentials or charges in an electric field with known a potential or charge distributions. In simple cases, the electric field problems are solved using Laplace or Poisson equation, which is given in previous lectures. For the potential phi with the given boundary conditions, the electric field is estimated from the potential phi and hence the charge distribution is obtained. So this is all about this particular topic called as analysis of electric field in a single dielectric system. Now let us understand the multi dielectric system that is mixed dielectric system. Now when more than one dielectric material is present in any region of the electric field, the boundary condition satisfied by the electric field intensity E at dielectric boundary R, EI1 equal to EI2, epsilon1 EN1 equal to epsilon2 EN2, that is and so on and tan alpha 1 upon tan alpha 2 equal to epsilon 1 upon epsilon 2 where EI1 and EI2 are the tangential components of the electric field. EN1 and EN2 are the normal components of the electric field and alpha 1 and alpha 2 are the angle of incidence and angle of refraction with the normal direction at the boundary and epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 are the permittivities of the two dielectrics at the boundary. So two dielectrics, whatever the dielectrics we are using, that is composite or multi or mixed dielectric, then each dielectric permittivity is represented as epsilon 1, epsilon 2. Okay. So normally all the dielectrics are good insulators at lower magnitudes of field intensities. But as the electric field increases, the electrons bound to the molecules of the dielectric will be subjected to higher forces and some of them are freed from their molecular bounding. The electrons move in the opposite direction to the electric field and thus create conduction current. This dissociation is temporary in gases in which combination occurs when the electric field is removed. Whereas it is partial or permanent feature in liquids and solids. Also, this phenomenon depends upon on a number of factors like impurities present in the substance, temperature, humidity, length of time for which an electric field is present, etc. The phenomenon is called the dielectric 
breakdown and the magnitude of an electric field that gives rise to a dielectric breakdown and destroys the property of insulation in dielectric materials is called the dielectric breakdown strength breakdown strength is generally expressed in kilo volt per centimeter or mega volt per meter detailed study of the breakdown phenomenon in various dielectric media is presented in the next few chapters so that's all with this particular introduction to this particular topic hope you understood the concept we'll meet again with the next topic on this same chapter take care